Okay, so subsequently let's look into rational case, rational inequality. So rational, just now I've been explaining to you that it is a fraction. So never use graphical method for it, only use real number line method or table of sign. Okay, so let's look on how to actually solve rational inequalities. So first tips is for rational inequalities, you should always make your right hand side zero. So meaning that this one, you couldn't like cross multiply it because you don't know what your x is, right? If your x is negative, this sign could be changing. Okay, so you don't know. So now, please make it as zero by y. By moving your 4x to your left now so that should be minus 4x less than 0 okay next step is you should make it a single fraction so make, make it a single fraction you would have 1 minus 4x square over with x altogether okay less than 0 okay there is some trick here please uh, make sure the coefficient of your x square here positive okay so that it might be much easier for you to compute your x so you don't actually misunderstood or misconfused with the signs all right so it should be 4 x squared plus it's minus with 1 over with x but now already changed the places so changing the sign okay and then next step is you have to factorize also so factorize this you would have 2x plus 1 as well as 2x minus 1 okay over with x greater than 0 okay so you have 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1 all right so from here you already factorize right you already simplify here right okay so in case of rational inequalities, there are some extra steps at the beginning because you have to simplify them uh, a bit more complicated there, but it's okay. So F is factorization. Okay, just follow up the methods. What about A? A is assuming all this to be greater than zero. And in our case here, it's without equal. Huh? So it would be... 2x plus 1 greater than 0. So you would have x greater than negative 1 over 2. As well as you would have your 2x minus 1 greater than 0. So it should be x greater than half. As well as the one at the bottom here. Okay, so don't forget about it. Huh? It should be x greater than 0. So straight away. So how many factors that we have there? How many intervals that we have subsequently? There are three sets of intervals that should be drawn on the real number line later on. Okay, so next step is R. R is basically the number line which you would have negative half, zero as well as half okay and then s is putting all the what we call that all the signs but before that we have to draw each of the sets okay so everything goes to the right okay and then about the sign don't forget on the line put plus because you are assuming everything to be positive and without the sign put minus if you're getting confused with how many signs that you should have there you might want to have a dotted line here to actually separate the regions okay so since you have four regions here so there should be four columns all together and then since you have three lines there you should have three rows of uh, signs over there so this one is minus also this one come for minus is there also come for minus how about P. So P is the product of all the signs. This one confirm plus. This one is minus time plus 
minus minus times plus that should be minus again and then this one plus plus so it will be plus plus minus minus is plus plus minus should be minus again okay so how about your answer your answer is depends on your f yeah remember your answer always depends on f so f taking positive positive region should be there and here so your final answer is x such that but then it wants it to be in interval form okay so it doesn't matter don't have to put in terms of x there lah. all right so we want the region of negative half up until zero both are not included but don't forget we have another region there union with half up until infinity okay so now we're gonna do these examples here so what we have is 3x minus 2 less than equals to 12x minus 8 over x plus 1 so the general idea would be simplify first so now we have 3x minus with 2 minus also with the whole thing 12x minus 8 over with x plus 1 less equals than 0 just follow through so now we want to equate the denominator because as we know that this is over 1 over here so that should be 3x minus 2 times with x plus 1 minus with 12x minus 8 and then the whole thing would be over with x plus 1 okay so simplify first now you would have 3x square expand everything and then accumulate them together it should be plus x minus 2 minus 12x as well as plus 8 okay don't forget your less equals to 0 there over with again x plus 1 less equals than 0 okay and then further simplification there so 3x squared minus 11x minus sorry it's plus 6 over with x plus 1 less equals to 0 okay so we have to factorize as usual so we would have 3x together with x it's 2 and 3 minus minus so less equals than 0 so now over with x plus 1 now why don't we use our table of sign method table of sign so therefore how many x that we have here it is 2 over 3 3 as well as negative 1 from the bottom okay so now just draw your tables okay since we have one two three and then lastly the product of it four rows all together and then how many columns we have three x here right and then together with the subject here should be four columns all together so one two three four okay so the first one is for 3x minus 2 the second one is x minus 3 the third one is x plus 1 and the last one should be the multiplication of them all of them all and the division of x plus 1 eh? so now this should be our negative infinity up until infinity meanwhile in the middle here put up the value of the least integers or numbers that we have up until the bigger one okay so our possible values in between should be maybe negative 2 0 1 as well as 4 as the test value okay 
So now what happen if we substitute negative 2 inside here, we would have negative. How about 0? It's negative also. How about 1? Just do calculation using your calculator or you can do your using your mind calculation but don't make any careless mistakes. So if you substitute 1 here, that should be 1. And then 4 should be, which is positive, 4 should be positive as well. Okay, what happened with negative 2 that is negative, negative and then negative also. But then here is positive because it gives you the value of 1. Here still negative, here got positive already, positive and then this one positive. Okay, so please uh, notice of the operation that it has here. It's been, it's been timing together but for this one... You have to divide them. Okay. So minus times minus will be plus. Plus divides by minus. It will be minus. The same goes with this. Plus plus. That should be plus. Plus minus minus. Minus plus is minus. And then all these plus together. Alright. So how about the region that you would prefer? It would have to came from our f here so now our sign is less than equals so means that we have to take the region where it's less over here okay and to determine the region it should be negative infinity up until negative one but please careful even though you have equal sign here for negative infinity, okay, it's always open bracket, but negative 1 doesn't include it, shouldn't include it because it's in the denominator. So, denominator cannot be equals to 0, can't be 0 because if you key in in any calculator, it would give you the math error. So, it should be open bracket as well. Union with the region where starting started with 2 over 3 but 2 over 3 can be included up until 3 also included so this would be your final answer okay next how about this one so we have 3x plus 2 but with less than negative 2 over x so as usual simplify them first We would have 3x plus 2 plus with 2 over x making the one at your right 0. And then equate the denominator. So it should be x times with 3x plus 2 plus 2 again. But all over with x less than 0 just follow up. Expand this you would have 3x squared plus 2x. And then plus 2 less than 0. Okay. Over with x. Okay. So this is some plot twist over here. When you actually key in into your calculator to solve this one. Unfortunately, this doesn't give you any factorization, right? Because it came out with i notation in your calculator so it means that it is a complex number so we couldn't actually include in our solution so therefore since this is cannot be factorized so if we imagine that in the quadratic diagram that shouldn't be any roots so it always positive so since this is always positive we make some conclusion here since 3x squared plus 2x plus 2 is always positive. Okay. So means that when you want something negative, less than 0 is negative, right? So means that x must be negative, less than 0. So the answer should be, therefore, our answer should be x such that x is less than 0 only. Okay? So please use your justification here 
or else you couldn't include into the real number line because this is a complex number all right okay so for this one i would love you to try by yourself and please submit this after you're watching this video because you have to submit that for your attendance proof but i'm giving you some tips here maybe you want to make into a notation that never cross multiply make x over to x plus seven and then the one on the right as zero so maybe you want to move your expression or terms on the right hand side to the left so that should be minus with x plus 2 over 3 x plus 16 greater equals than 0 now you have to equate the denominator okay guys good luck all the best <laughs>